eight items currently in development for the MCC. How will they affect the game and when will they be released? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. So lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on in Halo. So remember when I did a previous video talking about the June update and how that big blog would need to be broken down in multiple videos? Well, here's a second video talking about that. So I promise you guys more content from it. So in this video, we're gonna go over the eight items that are actively in development for the MCC. And we will also touch on a little bit of the InDesign and also the backlog stuff as well. So you kind of know what 343 has on their radar for what they're developing and what can we expect and when can we expect it. So let's get right into the content here. Number one on the list, progression system improvements, including challenges. Now I got a chance to play around this quite a bit in the MCC Halo 3 flight and uh, they were looking to bring these improvements in when Halo 3 releases. I don't know the exact date when Halo 3 will release. I'm assuming it's going to be in July. My guess would be July 14th, but that's just my speculation. We will begin a new season with Halo 3's release, Season 2, with a lot of CE customization involved with that. And as we know previously that the uh, previous system, season system that they had, where basically you had to go through individual set tiers to get what you want, was a bit grindy for a lot of people. So what they've done now, for each page of 10 items, you can pick and choose which items you would like to have but then once you complete all 10 on that page then you go to the next page so this should look to be a great addition to help kind of pick out the things that you would want sooner that rather than later also bringing in challenges which is going to be an absolute game changer when it comes to playing the mcc on a consistent basis we're gonna have weekly and seasonal challenges on top of that uh, we've gone over pretty much on previous videos but essentially you have you know, PvE, you have PvP, campaign, you know, uh, multiplayer, firefight, pretty much just playing the game, you'll get various different uh, challenges, which is a great way to gain XP and also earn unlocks tied to those as well. We'll be definitely be releasing uh, weekly challenge update videos to help you guys get some more tips and tricks on how to get through your challenges faster, to get through these uh, different tiers within the new season, which apparently there's probably going to be more than 100 items in with this season, so it's going to be a very thick boy of a season, so definitely going to be wanting to grind that out. Number two on the list here are UI slash UX improvements around navigation, roster, customization, and many other areas of the game. This will be an absolutely huge improvement when it comes to the current just experience of playing the MCC. Uh, it is one hell of a hassle to try to find someone's file share just to download content or search their name. Uh, a lot of times people just don't get the invites I send them when I'm streaming online with trying to play with friends. And so, uh, yeah, it gets a bit of a hassle. So I really would like to see when those updates come around. According to this update says this will be merged and released in coming updates. So not when Halo 3 releases, I'm assuming soon afterwards. Number three on the list, view model adjustments. If you guys remember what these are, basically they were brought up during uh, when Reach was the main MCC game to play on PC, that uh, a lot of times when you play your game in a centered crosshair, it would kind of make a weapon that's already pretty big on your screen, absolutely massive and cover almost half the screen and being able to change the view modeling of your weapon, basically so you can kind of lower and angle it in different ways. And so then it'd be more preferential to your play style. Uh, this was, I thought gonna come around pretty soon, but it seems like this will be also kind of being released uh, to all titles uh, for each game uh, as they come out. So uh, obviously it looks like it's gonna be like a one at a time kind of deal when it comes to these view model adjustments. I'm looking forward to it. Halo 3 actually looks really well with centered cross hairs. Uh, Halo Reach, though, definitely needs some view model adjustments, and I'll definitely be looking forward to that. Steam account linking is number four on this list, which is going to be absolutely crucial to have the lifeblood of this game you know, function better. Again, this also kind of maybe also goes in with the UI fixes as well. As a lot of times when I'm on the Microsoft platform, but I want to invite my friends from Steam or vice versa, it can get to be a bit of a hassle. And so linking the council can probably automatically bring your friends into the game. And so you don't have to like add them through the game itself. You can just have them on the Steam account. That would be great. Uh, it says that this will be merged and released in coming updates. So sometime after Halo 3 is released, we will be seeing Steam account linkings. Number five on this list is in-game FPS cap and adjustments. 
This is, I think, absolutely needed for a true PC experience, as there are many different kinds of monitors with different kinds of refresh rates, 60, 120, 144. I've even heard like 260, 300 something ridiculous. And so it'd be great to be able to kind of lock those frames at your frame rate of your monitor, just so your PC doesn't have to work so hard. It gives smoother frame rates, and I think overall just a better uh, visual experience. Uh, personally, I have a 144 hertz monitor, and so playing on Unlimited, like, well, I don't need 300 frames to play this game. I'd rather not overwork my system and just stick to my 144 and have that be a much more smoother process because when you're jumping from like 300 to 120, it's, well, that's a lot of frames being dropped right there, which you can have a jarring experience. Though when I was playing Halo 3 PC with unlimited frames, it was very smooth, but I did notice that once you lock your frames, it does get a bit better as well. So hopefully that's FPS cap will first of all work and also do the job that it's meant to do. Number six on this list right here, customization improvements. As these games are releasing on PC, we've been seeing different kinds of uh, customization improvements as we've seen with Halo 3, bringing back the old style of the 360 models of being able to customize the character as you want, as your shoulders, chest piece, helmet, rather than the MCC currently on console, which is just going to be, you know, armor, complete armor sets, not the best customization options right there for sure. And they are probably going to be doing this for throughout the rest of the other games as well and customizing where they can but like we said we do know with the new season coming in it's gonna be very halo combat evolved influence so there's gonna be a lot more customization with ce when it comes to like visors armor colors uh weapons camos vehicle camos a lot of different things like that so that's gonna be great additions to see being brought in and uh if you see my previous video you get to see a little more details of what we're talking about uh that these uh new additions coming to ce do look amazing number seven on the list is pc file share as we do know forge will be coming to the pc version of halo when it comes to the mcc so you have reach halo 2 anniversary and halo 3 will all begin in forge with the release of halo 3 on pc so you will need a file share system right well the file share of the PC is like, comes with a little bit of an asterisk there. And I also want to read this exactly how 343 says it, just to make sure we ease off of any confusions or if I misinterpret anything. While we are rolling out Forge for Halo Reach, Halo 2 Anniversary, and Halo 3 with the launch of Halo 3 on PC, we will not be including file share upload on PC at this time. Any content shared from Xbox can be downloaded on PC, but content created on PC can only be shared from that PC by manually copying over local files at this time. We still have infrastructure work to do in our file share system, which requires additional consideration for PC. Our goal is to support a cross-platform file share system that ensures the health and integrity of files shared in the ecosystem. So it seems like you'll be able to find the files on your computer and then you could probably share those to other people where they can download it and put it in their folders and then you have it in the game, it seems like, but there's not gonna seem like to be a, any in-game way where you can share your files on PC. Again, once that game, once we release that, the Halo 3 on PC, and we find out how the, what they're talking about, how that function works, I'll definitely make a video for you guys because I know there's gonna be a lot of people on Forge and custom games gonna wanna play. There's some classic Halo 3 games that people are going to wanna play and uh, there's gonna be a very tricky way to go about doing it as there will be no file share. So I definitely will make a video on how to share those files once the game fully releases, guys. And lastly, number eight on this list are additional video settings and options. As we did see some new options brought into the MC, like the user skin option and some new video settings as well to hopefully customize your gameplay experience just a little bit more. Now this last section I just wanna to touch over briefly is the InDesign and Backlog sections here, guys. So for InDesign, we have custom game browser input based matchmaking regional server selection cross play between xbox and pc additional mod support text chat improvements better ways to report players double keybinds for all games now the in design portion means that they're currently working on exactly how they'll format these features into the game to make it work the best way possible uh, it does take quite some time to go from in design to in development so i wouldn't expect these to happen anytime soon my guess with things like the custom game browser crossplay between xbox and pc input based matchmaking all that stuff i would probably assume to see that happening once uh, halo 4 is released 
released on PC. I would really hope sooner than that, but uh, that would be my guess as then they can focus their efforts on putting these features in rather than releasing these games, which is obviously the uh, most pinnacle point of these uh, releases on PC. And for the backlog, we have variable frame rate improvements for Halo Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary, idle system improvements, bringing PC features to console like FOV sliders, additional accessibility support, split screen for PC, and HDR support for PC. Now for the backlog, this is stuff that they know that people want, they want to get to, but they're currently just not working on at the moment. Variable frame rate is a little bit trickier apparently with Halo Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary and a little bit more straightforward when it comes to Halo 3. That's why it works in there. I read that from a developer, Farns, on Reddit as well. So, yeah, so I wouldn't expect those changes to anytime soon. I would just lock your frames at 60 FPS if you're playing on uh, any other game besides Halo 3 right now as uh, they definitely don't play out so well. And have, bringing additional of PC features to console like the FOV slider. I've been seeing a lot of comments about that and uh, I would not expect that to see that coming around anytime soon until all these games are released on PC. Then you can probably see that happening probably within six months would be my guess. Which item are you looking to forward the most when it comes to the MCC on PC? Me, personally, I cannot wait to jump in and get some customization options in guys. The C customization looks awesome. Hill 3's customization looks awesome. I'm super excited about this. Halo 3 is coming to PC, guys. I'm crazy excited about this, and I cannot wait for that release. And also cannot really wait for the freaking reveal of Halo Infinite this month. It's going to be insane, guys. We're going to be streaming on my Twitch channel, so if you want to check out that reveal, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to tap that like button. Leave a comment down below what you're looking forward to when it comes to these development updates. And if you're new to the channel, miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news videos. If you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.